and kind of bring that into a, mo a modern context, I think that um, you can see the sins of uh, social media like that. Social media itself is not inherently bad, mm. but the social media stars who end up taking a turn for the worst are the ones who are separated. They create this false image of themselves externally, mm. which is different to their um, normal life. And that normal life eventually comes and creeps up and, and bites them in the back or mm. and, and, and ends everything. And I think the eternal kind of social media stars are the ones who are honest in themselves, people like PewDiePie and, and stuff like that. Authenticity. They're auth authentic. authentic. Mm. And Dorian was never authentic. Do you no. think that these kind of themes do tie into kind of modern social media times? Yeah, they do. And, and you know, I, I, I'm not the kind of person to indulge in, in moral panics over you yeah. know, technological advancements. As you said, um, th there's this narrative that social media is inherently bad now. Is it changing the way we interact with each other? Of course it is. Is it allowing people to curate and project their lives in a way that's totally unrealistic and not quite the full picture? Yes. Does that make us in turn judge our own lives for the worse and, and occasionally feel like we're falling short? Yeah, it does. But broadly, human beings will adapt. We adapt to every technological change of this nature. We'll adapt to social media as a species, just like we adapted to fashion magazines. And the I remember when I was a kid, there was this uh, big uh, moral panic about young women reading Dolly and Girlfriend and things like that because it gave them unrealistic body expectations and so on. Well, we don't hear much about that anymore because it's all about social media. You know, there, there were moral panics over the invention of the television and before that it was the radio and before that... Uh, probably just before the time this book was written, the, the scare was paperback novels, which were giving young men funny ideas about the world and young women and just And, you know, violent sexually. video games. Correct. Before that, it was violent comic books. Correct. And before that, yes. Correct. <laughs> so I guess with social media, as with anything else, it, 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 it allows, you know, it, it enables the full spectrum of the human condition. Uh, that's what libertarians like me love about the promise of the internet, at least such as it used to be uh, and can be again. Um, this gloriously unregulated free space, but if you're going to completely open up the human condition, you have to, you know, buy the ticket, take the ride. It does allow for human conceit, for malicious vanity, as opposed to you know benign, healthy vanity. Um, it so in relation to the book, yeah, I, I think there is the temptation to say that it's a it's a cautionary tale about. Vanity versus um, morality. Morality, but I think uh, again that's a bit reductive, and I don't think that's really the, the nuance the novel was trying to get at. Yeah.